How's it going everyone? We have an exciting update for one of the better games of 2022. A Plague Tales Requiem has gotten a major update. We'll talk about that. And while that's some positive news, we do have some negative news to go over as there have been a couple of significant delays. We'll get to that in a little a bit. But first of all, A Plague Tale Requiem's performance mode is alive with enhanced graphics for PC and a 60 frames per second mode for PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series. There is an official post over on the Focus Entertainment website. Today, Focus Entertainment and Asabo Studio are thrilled to announce the release of a new patch for a Plague Tale Requiem, the currently praised and multi-award winning action adventure out now on Xbox Series X and S, PlayStation 5, PC, and coming next week to the cloud version on Nintendo Switch. The game's new patch brings a performance mode that includes the 60 frames per second option for PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X. On top of that, there will be additional options to optimize the graphical performance on PC. There's an accolades trailer now for a flash of a Plague Tale Requiem's achievements and continued efforts to improve the experience. Now, I know that I was very, very negative towards Gotham Knights being locked at 30 frames per second, but I do give a Plague Tale Requiem at least a little bit of a pass comparatively to, uh... A Gotham Knights because A Plague Tale Requiem is legitimately a, an incredibly technically impressive game that at least the 30 FPS lock stung a little bit less than let's say Gotham Knights or Redfall but still I really do believe that launch day all games should have an option that is 60 frames per second or at least targeting a higher frame rate than 30. Maybe it'll fluctuate from 40 to 60, etc, etc. I would like there to be hard lock 60 FPS modes on, um, you know, the majority of titles, but... I get it, it's not like the PlayStation 5 is an absolute behemoth of a console, it's a powerful console, but let's not, you know, push a four or $500 box then more than it is, but uh, I would like to see 60 FPS become more of a standard because that's really the ideal way for me to play games and that's why options are great. Even if that does mean sacrificing vi visual fidelity quite a bit, um, I would still like that option uh, to be available from the get-go, even with a game like A Plague Tale Requiem, as impressive technically as it is. The celebrated title just got even better, A Plague Tale Requiem embarks you on a breathtaking emotional adventure through a rough medieval world twisted by supernatural forces. The sense of history and a strong narrative direction are completed with an intense uh, stealth and action gameplay now enjoyable at 60 FPS on PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X with the new performance mode. The 60 FPS option entails lower graphical settings. PS5 and Xbox Series X players can thus choose default resolution mode settings to fully enjoy the graphical excellence of A Plague Tale Requiem or the performance mode that scales the graphical resolution down instead enhancing the gameplay sequences with even a smoother action at 60 frames per second. We'll be interesting to see if it's a locked 60 or how that's going to work. Meanwhile, today's new patch also adds options for PC players, allowing them to optimize the game's graphical performance. All platforms, Xbox Series S included, also receive several bug fixes. A Plague Tale Requiem has received profuse praise from critics and players since its launch, and we are thrilled to deploy the performance mode for players to enjoy Amicia and Hugo's adventure the way they prefer. The game has already won several awards and and nominations, and they go over a lot of the nomination and awards. A Plague Tale Requiem is available on Xbox Series X and S, PS5, PC, and in cloud version on Nintendo Switch. The game is available with Xbox Game Pass, so you can play it that way. The new performance mode is available on Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5, and on PlayStation 5, the game is seeing a 35% off discount as a part of the big games, uh, big deal sale that is running right now. That's a lot of newer titles that are being discounted. Uh, a Plague Tale Requiem was a tremendous atmospheric narrative driven game. However, you do not jump into this game without playing a Plague Tale Innocence. Let's get that straight right away. This is an incredibly narrative driven experience. Go play a Plague Tale Innocence. That game is great. Has some areas of the game that I didn't enjoy towards the latter portion of the game, but Overall, still found that game incredibly compelling. You can get it supremely discounted. There's a PlayStation 5 version of that game available as well. Certainly, certainly go check that out. It is a tremendous game, so uh, I don't need to sell you guys too much on that, given you can get it regularly pretty cheap. And then jump into a Plague Tale Requiem, try to find it on sale, you know, get it for around 40 bucks, and it'll be a good buy there. I believe with the 35% off discount, it's like $38.99 or something like that. Requiem, that is. So, you know, decent buy there if you already played Innocence. All right, that's some great news one of the best games of 2022 but 
Gotta go over some disappointing news. Hollow Knight Silk Song has been delayed beyond the first half of 2023. Team Cherry has delayed Hollow Knight Silk Song beyond its previously planned first half of 2023 release window. The developer announced we had planned to release Hollow Knight Silk Song the first half of 2023, but development is still continuing. Team Cherry marketing and publishing representative Matthew Griffin said in a tweet, "We're excited to buy how the game is shaping up and it's gotten quite big, so we want to take the time to make sure the game is as good as we can. Expect more details as we get closer." to release so and disappointing news i've talked to a lot of people and it is surprising to what every time i hear how excited people are for hollow knight silk song i wasn't that crazy like i liked hollow knight don't get it twisted but i didn't understand how much people liked hollow knight because hollow knight silk song when you regularly ask people what their you know five to ten most anticipated games of 2023 is hollow knight silk song is regularly on people's list of most anticipated games of the year so hopefully they can get the release out before the end of this year but uh obviously with a game like this you want to take your time you want to make it as good as possible especially because it, i believe it is hitting xbox game pass right away so they're gonna get a significant amount of revenue right away like that so the pressure is alleviated a little bit and just with the general interest of this game commercially it's gonna do really well so like you want to take your time make it as good as possible especially with a game like this Hopefully, it's not going to be a case of, you know, a lot of pressure from a publisher to really get the game out like I feel like it was with, uh, let's say, Star Wars Jedi Survivor. Obviously, they want to get the game out, you know, at a decent time, but they want to also... For the first and foremost, make it as polished and compelling of an experience possible. If that takes a little bit longer, so be it. Another title that looks like has been delayed, uh, Tom Henderson noted on Twitter, it seems like Assassin's Creed Mirage has been internally delayed from August until October. Nexus AC's VR offering has also been delayed a couple of months. It remains to be seen when that's going to be dropping. You know, I've been pretty vocal about my opinions on Assassin's Creed these days. It seems like every time a new Assassin's Creed comes out, I do give it a chance. And I'm like, yo, is this going to be the game that hooks me back into a franchise that, you know, a decade ago, it was really a case of every year, no matter what, I could usually rely on Assassin's Creed to be a game that I'm going to invest a significant amount of time into. And that was really the case with AC1, AC2, Brotherhood, Revelations, Assassin's Creed 3, Assassin's Creed 4. You I didn't like as much. Uh, Syndicate played the hell out of that as well. Rogue, um, that was a great game in my opinion. And uh, after that, obviously, the ship to AC Origins, Odyssey, and Valhalla. Some people love it, other people not so much. But now with this amount of investment to Assassin's Creed from Ubisoft, why not diversify the experiences a little bit? And it seems like that is what they're going to be doing. I hope we get a taste of that in Mirage because the idea of, you know, there being that Assassin's Creed that's this colossal open world uh, title that gets significant updates, expansions, etc., etc., and something that's more akin to what Assassin's Creed of yesteryear was, that would be something right up my alley. That's something that I could really get behind, and I would still probably give the, you know, the Odyssey and Valhalla style games a chance, especially if it's a setting that uh, really grips me, aka, you know, a Japan setting, obviously that would be something I would be into, but, you know, the older style Assassin's Creed game is something that uh, I would really be gravitating towards, so hopefully that does happen, but that is going to do it for me again, Playtale Requiem, major update in that performance mode live right now, 60 frames per second, great to see that finally dropping hopefully in the future we can make it so we get these uh you know the performance option on launch day and not you know there's a red fall situation uh becoming a regular thing but nevertheless there you go with that hollow knight silk song delayed beyond the first half of 2023 and tom henderson notes assassin's creed mirage has been internally delayed from its august uh release window internally to sometime in october that'll do it for me sound off with all of your thoughts in the comments section down below thank you for watching and goodbye Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.